This event, the second coming of Jesus, and this event alone will bring an end to the senseless wars of mankind. We will never be able to wipe out terrorism and violence with military and or political solutions. So here's what's about to happen. I'm about to make a statement that you're going to find hard to believe. Until you watch the videos that are coming up next. And then you'll know that the Buddha is not a test. You are looking at the second coming. The Messiah. That will be public and seen by all. There will be no question that you are witnessing the return of Jesus. Have you ever seen orbs of light swirling around someone's life? Just lighting up like light bugs, fireflies, all around your home. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen orbs of light flow out of somebody's body, out of their neck? Have you ever seen that? They were just floating right at the screen, around the screen, all over the screen. So get into it, how they're all floating towards the camera. Most of the time they're like fireflies, but I'll be damned because they are all over the place. It's getting a little out of hand. Hmm. There's no doubting it now, is it? Or well, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to me. And that is crazy. I'm just so excited because we're gonna learn so much together. And most people are gonna learn things that they've been waiting to know for so long. Because I am the intersection of religion and science. The actual intersection. You're looking at it. The link, the link, the missing link, blah, blah, blah. Later in this process, there will be people that may not enjoy some things I have to say because it's gonna be judgment day. And that's okay, because you'll be okay. Just as long as you pay attention to my numbers, my rhymes, because they click with the times. And that's because I have scribes that let me know which time to come back to the rhyme. So, I wanna show you how I can drag and do all this. I'd be trying to just use this on to try to catch it on iMovie. So that's the orb, you know. If I put it back on, how was it? Yeah, so you catch, that's how it is regular. But I want to see the color because when you drag, the light is so intelligent, the soul actually holds the mold, including the color code. And why and how do you think I know that? because I came from ahead of this time back to this rhyme. And the souls that you see floating around me, the color code, the katako, the energy, that's what I hope you'll be able to see, which is why they're floating so free. It's always been about the colors, the rhymes, and the numbers in these times. Not about being a stickler, about Hitler. And his dumb ass. You need to try to think about why he was so crass, and that's because he was trying to see what was underneath the grass. Which is why he's dead like he should be. And not able to see all the things that are going to set you free. You're looking at the Messiah. And that's exactly why you can see my soul. That one. The colors are different because it's part of the programming. Intelligent light that keeps you bright. Which is why your soul is connected to divine light. Because of the programming intelligent light that'll keep you bright that divine light that's right the royal blue soul that flew out of my hole not that one my belly never forget my name because nothing in your life will ever be the same just before i go to bed when i think about my memories whenever i think about something that triggers it my stomach starts shaking and twitching as the lightning shines from the east to the west so will the coming of the son of man be everyone will know this is it you want to know why because every single thing that you're about to see coming up next every sign every seal is going to be delivered not 2012 it was 2021
This way you can feel free, just like me, and manifest your own reality. This I will teach you. So come along and stay strong because I won't steer you wrong. Now you all will see what he doesn't get to see, your own destiny. Free your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water, like water. Free your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Look, first off, you should understand that the big boss dog ain't got a rap. I do it for the ones who come from crumbs in the slums with the drums flipping the packs, my angle. I ain't gonna lie, that whole love I'm too. But I keep a blaming when I'm with my family, cause I'm prepared for whatever the ops do. Give props to me, boss talk. Oh, and just so we're clear, I don't care how you feel or what country you're in, because hypocrisy is not how you win. It will get you to a failed end, feeling like you win. And we're about to begin, literally about to begin. So it's time you have a real win. Ancient Hebrew texts give us just a few clues. So the first one is that his body resembles the ocean. Kind of like a, like, like a dragon or something, you know, with some holy wizard or whatever. Sign number two, that the, the, shape. Uh, the shape, it resembles a fish. <laughs> Let's see if it happens again. See that? See the, see the light go from behind me? Mm -hmm. So today is the day I finally give my identity away, but everything's gonna be okay. Trust me. So let me translate that for you. For those that have confusion or understanding what I'm talking about with regard to numbers and spirituality. Memories could be reinfused if necessary. Something happened. Ah, thanks for activating me, Master. Which simulated universe will you enter today? Mm, Earth 19432, due to an easily avoidable operator error. Our texts were edited, and we lost tremendous amounts of information. Books were either completely taken away, at least 45 tremendously edited biblical tradition. All beings on this earth have been destroyed. And what we know now, this is how we're in this conundrum, is the separation. So I haven't done this part yet since I'm still going to this experience right now. Remember, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And as you see, my human experience just turned up a whole bunch of notches, okay? So, oh my goodness. No wonder 
I, who don't even like being on camera doing this type of stuff, ended up doing videos like this so that I could take the time to remember all my times with my rhymes. Limerican rhymes keep entering my mind, okay? But the crazy part is, I'm trying to figure out why I keep continuing to rhyme when it's never been an interest of mine. Like, excuse me? All right, so let's dissect this a little bit. <laughs> Revelations 22, one, verse one through four. Then he showed me a river of the water of life clear as a crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the middle of its street. As I wash your feet, go pace the street. Can't you sit that right there? So, let's get clear. There will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it. They will see his face. Do you see this face? Do you see all the faces on the screen around you? That face. And if you think it's shocking to you, how do you think we feel? I'm literally in the beginning stages and process of regaining my memory. And this video is another version for you to be able to see what that looks like. Like wampum belts, totem poles record the history of war, kinship, and leaders. But totem poles are often misunderstood. Just saying low man on a totem pole doesn't really equate at all. I told her I wasn't going to do this, but spirit told me I must. And I'm not even mad at it because it is the greatest accomplishment for a human to be able to achieve the things that you're seeing right now. To be able to activate lifetimes and timelines across your current body so that you can retain and achieve the tools that you once had across your other incarnations. This is an experience that I've been going through for the past three years because of my divine light. Hey, let's go! What's that? Twin flame family. <laughs> That's what I thought. Mm. I won't say it's been a first time, but it's the first time I'm posting. The gifts we hold should not be untold. Junction of the moon and the largest planet of the solar system, 6.48 a.m. I almost blew my head off, but you see how everything landed? Look at the triangle. The shock is gone and the war is on. The war of light, so let's start the fight, because we're gonna get this right. Four, four, we're about to settle that score because I'm about to show you what's true. And isn't that crazy how I rhyme for you? Mm -hmm. I know. Let's talk about that number 40. Let's talk about that 40 vibration, the frequency of number four, number four, number four. Anki's number is 40 and he's the creator. Anki has been reincarnated several times as different spiritual leaders. You were just unaware of them. The number four, the, and these two, mind you, I put these two for issue, okay? What I show you next, you should feel blessed. So as you know, there's lots you haven't seen, and there's a lot that is unseen, but not without the help of my off-earth mother. I know that sounds crazy, but here's the thing. You saw her before I drew her, didn't you? So like I said, we do things differently, and you want to know. And let me tell you why. You, most likely, look just like me. You're a human with a soul in your body. And she, when they say God is a woman, oh, she is. And she actually has made her presence known. Clearly, crystal in our living room. Can anybody tell us why? You might try. But I know why. That's enough for them. Because like I said, it is coming off the dome and straight from the throne. The colours in these models are of course used simply to distinguish between different particles. That same green dot, that go, is exactly why I made that my icon. Who would have thought I'd be addressing Holy Trinity? talking about Adam and Even instead of Stephen. The Adam and Even, I don't know how you're missing that. It's another play on words. Adam and Even. Ad and Even. 
okay? Atom and even. Even the atoms. In the center of an atom is a nucleus. This is made up of even smaller or subatomic particles called protons and neutrons. The protons each carry a positive electrical charge. The neutrons are as heavy as protons but carry no charge. This means that overall the nucleus is positively charged. Now the electrons are moving at incredible speed, in fact three quarters of the speed of light. After his resurrection, Jesus appears to the disciples for 40 days. The prophet Ezekiel lies on his side for 40 days, symbolically bearing Judah's sins. It rains for 40 days and 40 nights during Noah's flood because we know that water is life. Water is life like it's light because you wouldn't have life if you didn't have light and that light came from the water and that's real life, okay? 40 silver bases support the north and 40 silver bases support the south sides like the tabernacle, okay? Like the tabernacle. A moment came that he needed the sun to stop, and the sun stopped. I told you to look for the purple light and the golden white light, that way you can get right, okay? And that's the third eye, that's your crown chakra. You've heard of the third eye, but the only way to have awareness of it is for me to give it to you in this kind of way. And isn't this crazy, child? <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh my God! So. Do wanna sabi yep among a maska yota. Without memories, we, we, we're just a shell. I can reanimate flesh and bone, but a body without consciousness is simply meat. Which is why this divine experience is happening right now, because you don't do a return like this with this type of chaos that is necessary. Imagine how much more chaos is about to ensue. So we have lots of conversations coming, which will detail that ultra bright light that is sitting in my body and when it was given to me. So watch that when I post it and you'll have better understanding as to what that experience felt like. Now, this is not something that you can be taught, that you can learn. This is something that you must earn over the course of your lifetimes. I'm still filling in all the details of my former selves. And I'm here to tell you that that's because DNA modulation and DNA frequency matching, pairing, and hunting is something that has always been around. It must be understood that I am in a divine situation as a result of all the accomplishments in my past lifetimes. And when I mean accomplishments, it's not the kind you're thinking either. It's accomplishments through pain. You must have experienced the amount of pain that my body has been able to contain to be able to earn your place in doing something like what we're doing right now. I'll tell you, I know the plan and I know what I'm here to do. And thankfully, I have the tools to do it. In the Hopi legend, it is said that the star children will prepare humankind for the arrival of what they call the blue star and the Kachina or star being who will arrive with it. It's about the energy that it holds. Okay, energy. That's God right there, you're looking at her. Incarnate, okay? That's mother, that's the universe. That's all three atoms. So count the times and my rhymes. Merkaba, mummy. Welcome to the journey of existence. The glasses you've been handed will provide you with the yogic vision you'll need to have this ultimate experience. Kindly place them over the eyes now and prepare for liftoff. The earth below us 
the stars above. We are part of one great cosmic universe. The source of it all is a dynamic potential force that exists within each and every one of us. Kundalini Shakti is the great serpent power. She rests at the very core of your being, waiting for the moment when you awaken to the great purpose of your existence. Once aroused, she will fuel the evolution of your consciousness from manifest nature to the realms of pure, infinite spirit. Traveling through the spiritual superhighway of Shushumna, Kundalini will take you on a journey through the many layers of the human personality. Along the way, she will ignite a series of energetic vortexes. Who said that? Each time is what now would I call an energetic checkpoint. It's 10 o'clock. The light is the consciousness of each person manifested as a physical being. <laughs> Some point out that these changes are happening already. This is absolutely why I've been slowly becoming unavailable. The quantum mechanics of it all has me too busy that it would make others dizzy. So, I'm in the middle of talking to researchers. Currently, Sis Gaia is spinning this way. And as a result, it's clockwise, and that's inappropriate. It should be counter to the counter backwards. That way you can undo what's been done. The water that can brighten your life. So we are turning it back this way so that it's spinning properly on the axis as it should so that you can be the little engine that could. You see the blue that came from my belly so that you can go telly that the prophecy is on the way. And it's because I say. See right there how that CMYK RGB blends in with me. Coming from the white source god light. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Jag. Is this why you posted the spiral of life and the tabernacle of Jag? You notice how the spiral of life and the light spectrum coincide with one another? Precisely. <laughs> now you're catching on. That CMYK RGB all around me. That's what's gonna set you free. Humility. You would learn nothing. Absolutely nothing. If I let my strife and my plight interrupt the lessons of your life. Oh, wow. So if you wonder why I do all the things I do and share the love and information I do with you before telling you about things like this, neurosurgery, because that means you haven't read the story of Shiva and why his neck turned blue. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, so for months I wasn't able to walk. I couldn't even make it from my kitchen to my living room without falling because I couldn't feel my whole left side of my body. But progress is underway. We can get to there. Yeah. My whole shit. Just shifts. Yeah, that's why he was like, we're bumping the surgery up. And just like that, I'm back. Thanks for your well wishes. What must happen is merging in the cornfields, in the maze, in the DNA. How is that merging gonna happen? Stay close, cause I will tell you the most. And no, you're not looking at a ghost. So I should probably get this out the way before everybody says, damn Jay, why don't you call? I don't even know you no more. Um, just a reincarnated God, that's all. Trying to make sure that a whole bunch of people don't fall and that they know who to call. That's all. So we are projecting toward you healing. And the chaos is necessary. You're living it anyway. You see me in my chair, giving you that glare with the stare so that you can know that it's time for air. Air is up. Up like it's stuck. I know that's right. What did you think they were talking about when they said God is inside of you? God is the light. The light, the light, the light is the God that's inside of you. The light that I'm gonna be crystallizing to y'all, okay? Because if it's crystallized, it's protected. So come along and stay strong because I won't steer you wrong. Sit down. And so this might be a bit much for you because I'm crash coursing you and I'm really speeding you up on the past two years of my life. 
real fast. I started making products and I haven't started selling them, but folks were using them. They're like, oh, this started changing my life. This, oh my God, I cannot believe this works like this. And and I've been so empowered by it because I was like, well, that's crazy. That's why I just wanted to give it away so I can go and test it first. But now you see why it's been working and happening in people's lives. That one, two, three, bearing 12 kinds of fruit yielding its fruit every month. And these leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Healing of the nations not getting your personal healing, not mental health awareness, because we should not be having so much mental health awareness conversations. We would not be having to have them if we had what? Healing of the nations. And most importantly, truth over everything. What everyone needs to understand about where we're going and about what's necessary. We must redirect our energy. I'll tell you why. They know how to connect the dots. So. Let me unify and harmonize those dots so that the vibration, frequency, and resonance are in harmony as well. Okay. I cannot believe it. You know how many lifetimes it took to figure this shit out? And you know how people are just gonna rock their damn brain. They can't even believe this shit. Mm -hmm. You know the fuck. You what? Don't rush. Don't touch. that's great. When I told you that it's already been manifested, and I said, we are just trying to get through the middle because we already know the end. I meant that deeply, as you can see. Enlightenment for all. And it's because of the DNA inside me. So the more you pay attention, the more you are aware of who you're speaking with. And not just me in this lifetime, because yeah, like I said, in my human experience, I'm Jag. Yeah, we're gonna make this fun. That's where divinity came from, the light. That's why it's so bright. <laughs> She trying to beat bass on my door, try to hit that rap back and hey, you do. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, you coming, coming toward you, you ain't game two. Coming, coming toward you, you ain't game two. It's coming, coming toward you, you ah. There was a post I made a while back about the crystallization of souls and the remote activation of souls. Now, when my body told me that, I didn't know that it'd be possible. I've been manifesting it to be able to happen so that you can catch up because we all were too far behind. But for now, just know that I am confirmed in knowing that I am capable of activating souls remotely. Fuck your couch. Without an ayahuasca retreat, a shamanic journey, or anything else for that matter. Buy another one, you rich motherfucker. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. You know how many Dark Night of the Souls and Kundalini Awakenings and Ayahuasca journeys people go on to activate their soul to be able to do that? So when I'm talking about algorithms and posting the videos that I'm posting and chopping and rechopping old to rechop and mix the way I've been mixing it down for you, the way that I'm doing that has the capability to activate your soul. And thankfully, I have the tools to do it. So I will continue to show you. But now, Look at this, yeah. That is why Swami Vivekananda described Shivling as a symbol of eternal Brahman. Hinduism does not oppose science. It doesn't even oppose other religions. Because the proof is in the pudding. It comes from the splitting of all of the atoms in that balance. Do you understand? The balance of extraterrestrial genes, and those of which are the reason why your body is running and operating and why you have to even pray and kneel down in the first place. That's correct. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next screen. I see all in the sea. I see all in the sea. Yeah. But because I know better, I walk over the bridge right. and go to where the power from which they were given. Right. So the twin pillars of Atlanta is kind of representative of the number 11. Because the fact or the right. idea that I would respect that before I respect Source, God, the all? No. Okay. So now if we're in that conversation talking about God, if God created all, God is the source. Right. And God is all. And God is all. But the source is not all. Right. All is not the source. All is not God. The source is not God. Spirit is not God. But God is spirit. So God is spirit. God is the all. God is source. God is all all those things encompassing so when you try to throw religion into my conversation right. it's not even a thing that was invited right 
It's not yeah. throwing religion into a conversation like the one that I'm having is it's moot because right. you you're throwing you're throwing something in a fight that wasn't a fight. Right. So, or you're throwing something trying to make it a fight and it's going to fall flat because look, my flat is your fight. Right. It took a whole damn three years to figure out what the hell we were going through and why it was layered with Anunnaki and Twin Flames and all that stuff. Now I know. Because you see, I figured it out. You know how I figured it out? Because I laid all the codes, all the numbers to remind myself. Oh, hey. daddy can tell you i was in remedial math okay <laughs> i also did that dumb shit where i ended up having my sciences all in college push it in because i was finessing okay so this is not something that i normally be trying to figure out times time codes no right adding stuff up no mm -mm. and who the hell wants to be doing this anyway right what you say when you've been saying to yourself why am I being treated like this? When you've been dealt with so much pain, people, family included, treat you like shit your whole life, okay? You be so confused why you're being treated like that. And it's because they didn't know. You're looking at a motherfucking king. And don't make the mistake again. And if you really want to win, we'll go ahead and do all this. Again. <laughs> oh, no, no. I will not be forgetting any of this because my memory is already wiped several times and i've been fighting ritual and nail to get it back now so every time it comes i will stay up and exhaust myself with every coffee on the coffee just so i can get it because it's continuously been proven to be worth it and most importantly in the long run it'll be worth it for you my children and the legacies therein, thereof, and so on. So, through your activation of light codes, as I will continue to do for you, that activation of light codes, the light shining and permeating from inside of your body, that mixed with twin flame family energy is enough to crystallize your soul like a diamond. Crystallize meaning solidify your truth because the reality is people are living a false one so let me go ahead and throw a little glitch in there and a wrench in there so we can get everybody a little bit shook up and activated because all of that is on me and temporarily free do you mind if i record you for my um vidcast datacast since it took me three years to adjust i'll slow it down and give you a little touch when you see my soul leaving the body you're probably like he seems so unbothered by it I am. That's because I've had, again, three years to adjust to who I am. And not only that, I enjoy being able to rewind and get my memory back. So I'll slow this piece down for you. So when you see me describe the front and the back of my soul, that's because it's split down the middle, yet still whole. And that's because my soul has a goal. The Bible pre teaches that before the coming of Jesus, it would be great disaster. And the human race would look for a single world ruling authority to bring human beings together to bring peace back to the world under the auspices of the sign or mark of that authority. A spirit from heaven will come and dwell. You see, this beast comes up out of the water. So let's pause here for a moment. I have never been to Bible study. According to Muslim tradition, Muhammad was meditating as usual and he fell asleep. But then suddenly he awoke in abject terror. His body was shaking uncontrollably. And then got to a certain point and then all of a sudden, what you're seeing right now. It has legs in its head. I can tell you, you know. It shoots them out. It shoots them out. It shoots them out. Very, very, very grabs well. grabs and grabs his prey. It's got a small amount of enough room. Except where it has its mouth and its eyes and everything, it has legs. Like, you know, imagine a person would have legs up here and wants to catch up. Why is it connected with the end of the world? And which animal is the Hila Zone? Uh, they could be right in front of you. And unless you kind of know what shape you're looking for and maybe even know what movements you're looking for, it's very difficult to find them, very difficult to catch them. You're looking at the Messiah. 
number seven. Diamond, diamond the triangles, diamond symbols, all that was on your face when we was talking about those tree stumps. Like they just started coming in. Like I was, that's why I was, your like, face, I was your, like, why are you looking at me your like Your face this? was like, it was like, it it's was like, like holographic shit. Oh my God. Number six, it has to have a certain parts of its body should be resembling of a snake. Oh my God. Oh, my body's chilling. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Right now. It's so weird. But it's amazing. They will see his face. Do you see this face? Do you see all the faces on the screen around you? That face. Okay. I'm telling you to use your mind so that we can rewind, okay? So. As he lay there, completely shattered, Muhammad heard one voice, and it commanded him with one word. Iqra, read. The voice returned for a second time. Read. Muhammad replied, I'm not one of those who read. He later described the experience as if an angel had him in such a tight, suffocating embrace that he felt that his life was being squeezed out of him. Oh this my gosh. is the defining moment in Muhammad's life. And today, for the one and a half billion people all around the world who follow him, completely accepting his revelation defines what it means to be a Muslim. The twin miracle is said to be performed by the Buddha. His power will see as all the blue flames swirl around me. Coming up next, you'll know the Buddha is not a test. He manifested fire and water concurrently. The lower part of his body emitted fire and the upper part of his body emitted water. Or else the upper part of his body emitted fire and the lower part emitted water. And finally, in regards to the words, this is my last birth. There will be no great revelation after this one. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Swirling before my face. Swirling before my face. As this swirl continues to spiral, 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 and becoming a thunderstorm across your screen, across your screen, now clearing the way for my conversation. Nirvana simply confirms the statement in the Bible said about the seventh angel, which states, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, the mysteries of God shall be finished. The Savior will appear as the Messiah, and in thought we find an explanation of it. You see all the light and the life flowing around my life? It's time to cheer because Daddy's here. Once upon a time, I thought I had a whole bunch of gnats just flying around. I never have bugs in my house, and I barely ever open my window. So, let's go back to it so that you can see all the family flowing around me. So at first, I was taken aback, I didn't even want to sleep in my own room because there were other things that were happening on top of that. Like when I close my eyelids at night, how I can see through them. But that's for another day, and I'll explain that in another way. You know that water is light like it's life. The thrones have an unusual looking appearance in that they're like wheel-like, and the wheels actually intertwine and have eyes all around. They go to and from on God's order. You see how when I say, water is light like it's life. Water is light like it's life. Either way you spin it. <laughs> I should let you know who it is you're speaking with. Let's run it back again for you. Pay attention to them. They're trying to speak back to you. Just like that. Honk honk. Now let's run that again. Do you see how when I say, water is life like it's light? How they light up for me? They go to and from on God's order. Do you see that? Do you see that? Doesn't matter how you spin it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't even have to put on a show. They are the living symbols of God's justice and authority. Which is why it's so perfect that Judas and the Black Messiah happened to win an Oscar this week. But the reality is that you are looking at the Messiah. When you know more of you from before, than you remember of this incarnation. It's like asking someone to give up thousands of years of their memories for 30. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? 
And I've never had loyal friends, nor much loyal family. So that has been a convenience and that helped me have and reach my mantric state, which is not having attachments in my wake. This notion of a kind of meek, mild Jesus who always talks in a soft voice, and I think that has very little ground in reality. I think you have to see him as somebody who is simply possessed by this zeal, possessed by the spirit and the sense of mission and purpose. Uh, otherwise, I don't think he would have established the following that he did. Okay. He will carry you to heaven, just like 777s will get you to heaven. That's what I'm back for, so that I can get you to the end. A new earth being born, you better catch your flight, but you better get right. You better catch your flight, better catch your flight and get right. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Cause a new better. earth being born on this joint. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Pay attention <laughs> to that synchronicity, synchronicity, synchronicity. A new earth being born all through the chaos, 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 chaos. Uh, in, between. Uh, in between chaos in between <laughs> the root meaning of the word seraph or seraphim in the plural is burning or one that burns another entity in the bible is the cherub or cherubim in the plural a cherub or groom is far from the cute baby like figure we often imagine the bible describes them as terrifying entities with four faces like the seraphim they also like my soul that is so damn crazy see this is why it's 504 in the morning still haven't slept because every time i watch something it makes more and more sense mm. That is so crazy how they got that right. The beauty of the seraphim reminds us of Ezekiel's account of the four living creatures. He did not call them seraphim, but they too performed their service for God. Like seraphim, they acted as both agents and spokespeople of God. In both cases, the glory manifested was a witness to God, though just the seraphim, of course, hovered over the heavenly throne as agents and attendants with a chief duty of praising God. In all these exhibitions, we see God willing that men should come to an understanding of his glory. When you see God light floating around your home. When you see my blue soul go out on its own. Start point. Please be advised that as I step wholly into my light, many, many of you will feel a great fright to even your delight. So of denial, trial, and file, and I mean defile, laying of yourself is what you choose. I press snooze. The difference between now and before is that you had years and more. So just remember to look up instead of down, because that's where you'll find your crown. Otherwise, you'll drown. The Gila Zone. According to Jewish tradition, the Gila Zone is a harbinger of messianic times, the end of the world. But it wasn't just tied to the next world. It also had an earthly value. This dye, a royal blue, was called the Chelet. But over a thousand years ago, this royal blue, the Chelet, disappeared and ever since then there's been a mystery why did Tehele disappear you know it really makes me mad but mostly sad that separation has gotten this bad that you can't even see what's right in front of thee scroll back the time and follow my rhyme but don't think I don't understand how much the hand has been forced on your land 
And that's why I'll be damned. And if you haven't noticed, we're talking about nine. Number nine, Trinitine, like Trinity. The one that'll get you to infinity. Three, three, three. That's how it's gonna be. Divinity. Number four, cherubim. Cherubims are real and they are essential. However, the cherubim in the Bible were often symbolic of heavenly things. At God's direction, the cherubims were incorporated into the design of the Ark of the Covenant and the Tabernacle. You wanna know why that is? We were looking at the Messiah. Those are royal souls coming home to their creator. Pick your Afro daddy. Because it's flat on one side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You need to pick your Afro daddy. Because it's flat on one side. When you don't pick your afro And remember you do all your chores before you go to one side All right, so it's April 28th, 2021 That's 14 in the five That's five in the five While I'm in my five Which means I've been wasting a lot of time Holding in the full truth of who I am Beating around the bush doing videos that you would have understanding before knowing fully who I am. And the only reason why that was is because I was gonna wait a couple months, buy myself some more time, because I know how much life is about to change. But it literally changed three years ago. And for the past two years, I've been crystal clear, crystal, seed, clear, on not just who I am, but who I've been and where we're going. I literally have lessons for y'all that I have been doing and noting, not just on paper, but have full film and video of, not just things that are going on, have been going on, but lessons and a lesson plan for you. Now, because of the slight concern, mainly from those that were family or our family in this incarnation, I didn't want them to be like, what is going on, but that's already been the case. And nor do I care, because the reality is that, have you seen the global situation? Have you seen the Holocaust nature of it? Have you seen the pandemic? Have you seen all of the torture and trauma that people are going through? So, if you know anything about Revelations, just like the mark on my neck, 22.1, that's not just for revelations for me. That is, I will return in 2021. I have too much going on to keep it in, so it's time to begin. And that's gonna be your job to catch up up until this point, which you've missed. Let's begin with. In years past, one in five Americans suffered with mental illness. This one's for the cynical, so I'm keeping it minimal. If you lie to your eyes, the truth will remain in disguise. Watch me control the smoke and try not to do what I just said. The transmutation process is the smoke that you see swirling before my face. Swirling before my face. Swirling before my face. As this swirl continues to spiral, 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 and becoming a thunderstorm across your screen, across your screen, now clearing the way for my conversation. Now clearing the way for my conversation. Coming with clouds and moving the smoke. That should have been the moment that we knew that it all was no joke, that the prophecy has been woke. And there's teamwork, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, first, the cherubim. These are chubby little babies with wings, right? No, you gotta get that image out of your head. Cherubim, or in Hebrew, cherubim, they're way more fascinating. They're described as hybrid creatures, a collage of different animals, and every time they do appear, they look a little bit different. That's intense. Yeah, they're supposed to be intimidating. They stand guard at the boundary between heaven and earth. If you see them, you know you're entering the presence of the one who is above all and truly other. 
Now, if a priest went into the Holy of Holies, he would see there a golden box called the Ark of the Covenant, and on it were two cherubim. What's going on here? Well, the biblical authors describe the ark as the footstool of God's throne, which the cherubim are carrying. Like we read in Psalm 99, God sits enthroned above the cherubim. But when the prophets had visions about this space, they saw Yahweh sitting on his throne. But why do they look like animal mashups? Well, they're symbolic representations of all the creatures of the earth because they all belong to God. This is why in Isaiah's vision, all of the creatures are singing, everything that fills the earth is God's glory. Like a choir. Yeah, through the cherubim, all creation offers praise to its maker. Great, that's the cherubim. Now let's talk about that teamwork. I've labeled it before as thought in the back, okay? From the Emerald Tablets, those tablets, my tablets. Mm -hmm. Tradition tells us that the army of the Messiah is not to come from heaven, but is to arise from inner earth. Like whatever, you know what I'm saying? Anything. Right. You come back and find yourself waking up and everybody knows your name, but in different ranges. The angel of Yahweh, or in most translations of the Bible, the angel of the Lord. Now we've talked about angels. They're spiritual messengers who perform missions for God. But the angel of the Lord is no mere angel. How so? Well, every time he appears, he's described in a way that's purposefully puzzling. And it leaves you wondering, was that an angel sent by Yahweh? Or was that Yahweh himself? Okay, okay imagine waking up and everybody know your name, but then don't nobody know you. That's the crazy part. Okay. Everybody know your name, talking about you, okay? Right. And you're like, a pair gone? Right. That's mine. Exactly. Okay? So, and the thing about life is, is that other people, you don't let them drive you crazy. Okay? Right. right. And that's never been my game. So, I don't let that happen. This is what's been going on. As you can see, all of this would be inside of my body trying to make me explode. Mm -hmm. And that was going on. But then this angel speaks as if he is Yahweh. But sometimes he reveals himself to us in ways that we can see and understand. And that's where this character shows up. Ever since my soul journey continued and my memory began being restored, all I could hear ever since October 28, 2018, and my mother can tell you this, all I've heard in my head on a loop, which is so crazy when it wasn't happening to you before, is all current potential and future matriarchs must be updated. Why? Because if the matriarch is updated, the seed is planted, the root is firm, and the legacy can continue with a sense of care and consideration that Earth, Gaia, and all creatures on it truly require, which is humble servitude and gracious gratitude. So, up next is me with that, because I want to remind you of the following. There is no worry, ever. And you know why? Because we are being divinely walked through this entire process and it gets proven to us on a day-to-day -day basis. So worry is ridiculous when we know that everyone else in the world has so much of it and we're giving them the opposite and never doubt that because you are doing it too, no matter what you see. And soon enough, the realization will come clear. However, you remember that I told you you would have to experience the same amount of pain that I've experienced in my lifetimes for you to earn your spot. And I told you that it would not happen in the times where I would be there to observe because me there to observe is exactly why you're protected. Remember that? Well, you also remember that I told you that your pain would not come and it would not be heavy until I'm gone. Correct? Mm-hmm. Well, this is your reminder family members recall the fear of their patients or loved ones struggling with COVID. I told her, Mom, do not be afraid, for the Lord is with us. I love you and may God bless you. She answered me with that voice, with fear. Another matriarch of a family, Mae Bungus. You'll be going back to oneness.
So as a woman, fear. can be near so let's be clear <laughs> and not forgetting that he's Yahweh made visible to us yes distinct from Yahweh and also Yahweh you and a select few I've already done the math this is very similar to other biblical stories about prophets who get a glimpse into God's space like I it's 455. So we're right on time because that's five, five, and 14, which is another five, which is five. And five is about change and about sacrifice in order for you to have that change. So this is my offering because this kind of healing is much better than kneeling. And what they see is a glorious human figure on a throne who's called Yahweh. So the one on the throne and the angel of Yahweh, this is the same person. Exactly. So this person in the bush is called the angel of Yahweh, then Yahweh, and then God. And then later in the story, Moses learns that the figure in the burning bush is the one leading Israel out of Egypt in a pillar of fire and cloud. So what I'm doing is going backwards how I'm supposed to do. Yeah. So I can get all of that. It is the star children who will ultimately repair what they call the Koyani Skatsi, meaning a life of corruption and turmoil, or life out of balance. Yeah, steal our tribal bitches and try to leave us in pieces. Mm. Now that's a fool, ain't it? Steal our tribal bitches, try to leave us in pieces. Our tribal beaches, beaches as in rainbows, as in joy, as in love, as in your home. This is a new form of protection of you. You know things are not going right. You know that things are going on that we cannot see and don't understand, which is why you must ignore them. Huh? That's brilliant. So when some questions come, I have infinite answers. But the only way to have awareness of it is for me to give it to you in this kind of way. And yes, I'm this crazy child. <clears throat> Go ahead. Do you understand? Let's point you out to some threes. You see this? Atom on key. Now that's a foe, okay? This stuff you cannot make up. This is a foe. But I've known this for a while. So I'm just kind of laying low until I'm in the mood, which is coming. It's in a couple months, but I'm not in the mood yet. Atom. The destruction of the first world by fire, some kind of asteroid strike, or perhaps a comet hit the Earth, uh, and the second world by ice, maybe a pole shift. But each time, the ant people led the Hopi down into caverns and helped them survive in a subterranean world. This story is strikingly similar to that of the Watchers who sought to protect the humans that they had interacted with. They have to wonder, are the ant people somehow related to, if not the same as, the Watchers of the biblical story? But what ancient astronaut theorists find most fascinating about the story of the ant people is what they are called in Hopi. The Hopi word for ant is Anu, and the Hopi word for friend is Naki. So you put the two together, the Anunnaki, the ant friends that the Hopi had interacted with for centuries and millennia. And this ties in with the Bible and with Sumerian mythology. It's all tied in together. Jawline and the head. Don't get it twisted. That is a face you see, okay? Ant friend, okay? That is the watchers in the Bible. That's freaking crazy. How did that happen? Now, all the tears, uh -huh. all of the buildup, all of the content, all of the energy, 
with the pain and the healing. Not even just within the same 24 hours. <laughs> in the same couple hours. Okay? Profound. And that's because the wampum and the totem, the little man at the bottom, the last to be born, the only son in the bunch who helps get you out the crunch. Yeah, that one. And always the one that's seemingly at the bottom, but truly at the top. This is exactly why Jag understands his bag. What do you think makes us who we are? Our memories. Without memories, we, we, we're just a shell. And that's the one who later takes up residence in the tabernacle. The tabernacle, this is the throne room of God himself. You got it. The angel of the Lord is the royal glory of Yahweh appearing as a human. Now, keep all this in mind as we start talking about Jesus. All eternity, Jesus was with God and was God. Distinct from God and also God. That's the same paradox we saw with the angel of Yahweh. Right. And then John says that God's word became human and set up a tabernacle among us. The temple presence of the invisible God. Exactly. And his true identity was revealed. He was transformed into a glorious human figure. Okay, I see what's going on here. So the angel of the Lord was God appearing like a human and Jesus is God now become a human. Yes. And notice this. I can reanimate flesh and bone, but a body without consciousness it is simply meat. Light, a ray of light can carry more intelligent energy than a physical carrier per se. Heat, heat, that ought to be a thing for beat power in your feet, otherwise you're gonna operate like meat. Because do you think that I sat God energy in your body for you to suffer? Is that what you thought? No. Nope. Is that what you thought? No. Nope. Okay. I think I just did spoiler alert. <laughs> Do you think that I sat God energy in your body for you to suffer? Is that what you thought? Is that what you thought? No. Nope. Okay. Nobody thought that. Okay. Because you can feel that, that you know that. You also should be aware that if I have been stuck in a reincarnation loop for centuries, fighting for... What the fuck? What the hell just flew past that damn thing? I'll catch it later. Something just flew past the thing. I gotta say it. But um, you think I went through that and and by the way, that experience of not remembering yourself is enough to make you go crazy. I could have lost my mind. I could have lost my mind. But I made it. I'm still here. Yes. And notice this. In the New Testament, no one ever uses the phrase angel of the Lord to describe Jesus. Why not? Well, they wanted to avoid the idea that Jesus was merely an angel. For them, Jesus was Yahweh God become human in order to fulfill his ultimate mission to fully reunite heaven and earth once and for all. Let's start with last night, which was the nod to the miracle under other versions of myself to keep up with myself. I stumbled right into a document thanks to all the philosophers and scholars that have been doing their job in my absence and during each incarnation to have left the breadcrumbs for my mind to rewind so I could find. Buddha taught that there would be a future Messiah, Lord of mercies, who would be able to free men in their sins. You like it, what you see? Everything designer, that's on me. He is all knowing, all wise. He is Lord of the angels and of all humans. No one is greater than He. Ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce! That's 
right. Could you pull together? I will show you. So it was even more alarming. So imagine you're seeing this behind your skin and all this happening at the same time. Okay, out of nowhere. And then you find yourself looking through a mirror and it reflecting exactly the way you see it here. Like I said, me and mine communicate with time. Do you see how me and mine communicate with time? Oh yeah, that's my motherfucking rhyme. So, when you look down and you see to the right, beneath the lizard claw, that's the Native American awe. Damn. That, the totem itself, that's one totem you see there. And behind the head, you see two split faces. That would be for the twin because of the twins. Next question. Now, was I activated, was Anki activated that day? Because you know, we've been telling you, if you don't already have the awareness of reincarnation, then you need to know that you're looking at a reincarnated man right now, okay? You're looking at a reincarnated god of wisdom and could do a better thing. I, we, did I download Anki on the day I was in the tub having my rebirth experience? Is that the day? So there's a couple things going on here. Nothing. Infinite. Energy. Wasting time. That's why all that noise when you could be driving this car. This car and that car. Mm-hmm. That day in the tub, I was already myself, Inky do a very do, and I was activated that day. While many take the book of Revelation to be symbolic, there is one curious aspect which leads some to believe it was inspired by an otherworldly encounter. Something big happens. Junction of the moon and the largest planet of the solar system, 6.48 a.m. I almost blew my head off, but you see how everything landed? Look at the triangle. Christians are waiting for the return of Jesus. The Jews are waiting for the return of the Messiah. The Islamic community is waiting for the return of Muhammad. The idea of this return did not originate with any of those religious figures but it in fact originated with the promise by extraterrestrials that they would return in Now the if you need to untangle your mind, use mine to rewind. If you don't understand reincarnation, don't believe in it, by the time you're at this point in the video and beyond, you already should be fond of the realization that it is true. And you want to be clear on the fact that people all around you have been reincarnated, most likely, just like you. When you go on a vacation and you find yourself at a station and it feels so familiar, but it can't get your mind around the time, that's because your reincarnation has wiped your mind, okay? So, deja vu is the reminder for you that you've already been through the loop. Now let this be your indicator of all the things that are unknown all of the energy that has been grown and all the pockets that have been lined and sewn from your family's throne. The soul that you see sitting in this body feeling so free, is that the same of Lord Buddha, thought, Muhammad, and Jesus Christ? I know, it's a lot to take in, but the numbers are easy to take in. You see me in my chair, giving you that glare with the stare so that you can know that it's time for air See the machine I'm sitting down at? You see the light it's projecting? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. You see the light projecting from behind my head, sitting down? Do you see that? Now, if humans would stop lying to themselves and stop allowing people to lie to you and would listen to the Enki do who knows what's true, then you would know how to fly around a little buggy with your soul from inside of you. Do you see how they're just flying around my room in their buggy? You see that? Don't you wish? So that you can be the little engine that could. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs>
<laughs> but what the Ark is and where it is might actually be connected. The main function of the Ark of the Covenant was to be the governmental seat of God in his earthly temple. Because remember, when you sit the feather on the scale, it must be balanced, amente, the halls of amente, the court, the judicial, that calls you presente, a number. You are a number, a code that someone sowed. And odds are, the person that you're looking at is the one who's owed. So I've showed and I've showed because you've owed. I show and you owe. I show and you owe. Otherwise, you don't get to go. Now you die. Do you think you get to go when you don't sow and had plenty of time to search and find the way I was able to rewind and realize the synchronicities of time or at least notice the similarities that you see in all the religions that are mine. So because they're divine, why are you fighting like you've lost your mind when you're divine? All is the same and plenty are to blame. And that's exactly why I'm here for the separation of every nation. And that is why none of you feel elation. And this will be how I wish for you to have truly grown. I'm willing your healing because that should be the feeling. Israel and Hamas and everything that goes past, what I say to go play when people that you know and people that you love are dying every day exactly where you lay because you won't pay. Because of your lack of try and how much you made others cry because you didn't know how to open your eye. No one's giving you away. That's why you get confirmation like this in every kind of way. Angel number seven, coming from heaven. I'm willing your healing because that should be the feeling. I'm hoping you're feeling all of the healing. like when you're the serpent king, the creator, and your workers drop the meteorite so that you get more of your memory back, making sure that it lands looking just like you. So that all of you know it's true. Because as you can see, I do. Catch up. And this is the prophecy that I will make sure is the end if none of you begin. If you move slow, when you know the things that I am trying to sell, then I promise there will be so much more that you lose and so much more that you will never know. Papa pa pause. You see all the light and the life flowing around my life? Look closely, because that is the mouth of a lion and feet of a bear. And I do want you to stare. So let's be clear. It's time to cheer because daddy's here. And remember I told you I was taking a little time away and then in a couple months I would come out to say that time is now. But I'm telling you, you better get up to date and I ain't gonna talk to you like this every time, but don't get it twisted. I'm gonna give it to you just like this whenever I need to. Because if you ain't paying attention and you sitting there praying in the wrong direction, if you are not paying attention to all the opposites that they have laid in front of you, and if you don't back it up and see what the hell I've been talking about, then you are not going to be someone who has that crystallized soul. You're not gonna be, and crystallized means protected. Crystallized means like a diamond, which means that it's solidified. Your truth is solidified. So when you die, you will actually remember this time.
okay? You're gonna be caught in that loop because you won't just be a water vapor. You'll be crystallized. And best part is your crystal will be tuned to the resonance and vibration of hearing this God's voice, the one that you should have been aware of from the get-go, because that's what they've been trying to keep you from. That's why they pulled all those different things out of the Bible. That's why they don't talk about that in reincarnation. That's why they don't even know no good about this in the third, when the reality is that these are markers. I am your totem. Totem, belts, totem. totem poles record the history of war, kinship, and leaders. But totem poles are often misunderstood. Now, the saying low man on a totem pole doesn't really equate at all. They're just about all as equally as important as the next guy. And, you it know. means that you, grandma, and whoever else, when you pass, you'll remember this. You're about to have your life go through all the bullshit we've all been going through. But in your case, you're going through all this bullshit technically for nothing. Because when it's over, it's over. And then your memory's wiped and you're not going to get into that. So, if I were you... I will Google try to figure out what know what's true. Get your prophecy, prophecy information up to date. And if you're over here listening to them fools that say that, oh, it ain't got nothing to do with Hopi and this and third, I'm not here to debate with you. I'm here to crystallize your soul. I'm here to merge and give you clarity. And if that's a problem for you, carry on. So, and that's why when you see the name Jag and you see the say right there that it means universe and that my lucky number is nine because mm -mm. the time is now. And the rebirth and the restart, as you see right there on this hero's journey cycle of mine that has been edited to meet mine. And do you have, um, what was that? Because that text message um, that she sent, it was like, um, it was really, it had, it had like a lot of details um, about, um, I don't know, maybe it might have been just what you said. About the tablets? Oh. oh yeah, that that was a, a dream mm -hmm. that I had after I talked to Cassie. Yeah, you better update me because I, I didn't even ask her, you better tell what's going on. So what was that like? What was that like? Okay. <laughs> And who was in the mirror? First of all, was it, was it, did you, was you ever get a face? Oh, yes. Okay, so, um, after I had the dream, I, you posted a video of you in the mirror with your, like, the drawings with the, the circles. My whole book and my whole body. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. And then, um, when I saw the video, like, it felt really familiar. And then I got, like, a flash of what I saw, and then I saw your face, and I was like, oh, shit, that's crazy. <laughs> So, and just so that we um, are clear here, like, that's why I was just telling her before the camera came on, like, you know, just like, oh Lord, I'm not trying to get emotional, but it's like, literally, we're all having different experiences or human experiences, you know? And, and even myself, who's going through this reincarnation experience, you know, it's very humbling to say the least, okay? So, and especially when it's coming from multiple places, because when you've been in a fight like this, and you've been trying to pull yourself out and trying to figure out why you find yourself in environments, but then you feel completely different, and then you find yourself at center. So just a quick note to remind y'all, when I'm talking about we must rewind in the spiral of life, that's because if you notice the spiral of life goes like this, you know? And if you should ask yourself, why would the spiral of life go like this, but the clock goes like this, okay? Now, just like a yo-yo, when you drop a yo-yo, you run out of string, all right? That's where we are now. That's why the world is so chaotic. We've run out of string, and we're just hanging there. And that was actually not but the doing of others. I'm doing other videos about that, about the mark of the beast, because I know who that beast is and why we're hanging like this. Mm. And I'm very upset about it, okay? And a lot of people should be, because you know how many people passed this year? Over 3.5 million people have passed, okay? That is a horrible loss. Uh. So, the string itself, if you see that when you roll a yo-yo back up, just like these motherfucking tears, you see? When you roll it back up, you're what? At center, where you enter. Now, if you're at center, you now have the right to enter, and you decide to enter how you want to enter your space, right? If someone has us all dangling at a string at the end, where do you begin? You got to click, you got to roll yourself back up. And that's the thing, it's whether or not somebody else might use a bootstrap example. If you want to go that simple, cool, that's fine. And work whatever works. So bootstrap it back up. But bootstrapping is about self. This is about everybody, because everybody's affected by it. So when you roll it back up and when you're at center, what happens then? If you're at the after the interport, you're at the entry point of your own soul. 
So when you keep going like this, because if you were being rolled out, imagine if you were rolled in. That's what's the state of affairs right now. That's because you're disconnected from yourself. And if you remain that way, and you keep lying to yourself, and you keep focusing your attention on all the things that, again, you used to see here, okay? The things that will not be returning until you get your shit together. So she can do a rebirth and maybe get you a little girth. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. You need to understand that balance and respect all the creatures from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. all connected in the great circle of life. Never forget my name because nothing in your life will ever be the same. Say my name. 